So when I homed it, I ran it all the way over, and I think I just kind of picked this spot randomly. The reality is, is with the soft limits off, this will go another four or five inches that way. So I could easily move the, the block over to here, you know, and have it home a little bit further off. This block here, if you go up behind it underneath, you will find another Allen, just like the one back on the Y, the front and the back on the Y, that stops it, stops the uh, travel. All right, that's roughly 30 thou off the, uh, off the physical stop. Get a little extra light in there. Okay, so see the casting right there? It's hitting that edge. Now, would you want that other quarter inch? Only if you go and reroute that oil line. Otherwise, that's stopping it from crushing the oil line. So I would I would call that good right there. So let's set it at zero and the DRO at zero and see how much uh, let's see how much travel we get coming back. So this is what I was talking about. I mean, there is way way more uh, travel there. Another five inches, easy uh, tape measure. See, I left it that way so that the table would keep this covered up. So that way I didn't get a bunch of swarf and, and stuff like that and chips in here. Uh, but, I, but I've been looking at other machines and other machines do that without even thinking twice about it kind of thing. So there's six inches difference there that, uh, that I gained by doing that. Be a bit more cautious at this end. Um, there was a uh, stop here. I bolted on, but I ran up against it and snapped it right off. Yeah, so there was a block bolted here that came down and stopped it against this. Except they only went in about a quarter inch, and the servos on here just uh, ignored it and ran it forward. And uh, so be careful of that. Well, I wanted to bring up one other thing here. In my what I did was, in order to get the the max travel, I moved the table all the way toward me, okay, set the tab there, I, I went to the that limit I showed you earlier kind of thing, uh, set the tab, basically I watched in diagnostics until I moved the, the block there and the light came on, uh, locked it down. Then what I found out was is that when I was over on this end of the table and I hit home, it went to that first one I still had sitting in here and stopped. So I ended up having to move the second block down there at the end because I'm going to be using uh, just soft limits anyway. So let's see what we've come up with here. Let's go ahead and tell it to home. So the change is, and I don't see why it matters if it does or doesn't uh, when it homes. Home is just for a reference point. So I still have the Y homing out this way. But I decided I didn't want it to home over the end and leave all that exposed, you know, because then as I'm cleaning or doing whatever, you know, knocking chips on top of the uh, the uh, Gibbs there, whatever the slide. So I went in and, and told it to reverse. So I went into configuration, homing limits, and I had this uh that's a uh, home negative i think let's, let's see what that is home home neg anyway so i switched that so it would change the directions and what i did here at first i put i didn't realize this was max and min so the max means that i could probably tell it to go past i sure as hell could so i could have it home right in the middle i could have it home anywhere i wanted uh but it would make machine coordinates a little bit more confusing and that stuff. So, uh, anyway, there's my soft limits right there. 11 and a half, whoops, for Z. Uh, 15 and a half for Y and 20, 26 for uh, X. That's a lot of space. 